I had to publish a video like this for ages on this channel. It's just so basic, but so must know before you go to Italy. Top 10 things you must absolutely try when you go to Italy. Just use it as a checklist to tick out those things you already tried or just use it as your must try list for your next trip to Italy. Let's begin. Ciao ragazzi, I'm Anna. In today's video, I included only the most traditional and super tasty things from every region of Italy. They're so good. You will want to shout Mwah! Mamma mia! Next time you sit down to an Italian feast, let's dive in. Biting, shall I say? Number one, and of course, legendary pizza. Everyone knows what pizza is, it doesn't need any introduction. But what you know as pizza, it's not quite the same in Italy. Pizza has been around Italian peninsula for centuries. But it was in 1889 when the Queen Margarita of Savoy visited the city of Naples, where the famous pizza Margarita was born. The story goes that the Queen was so tired of French cuisine, so she asked Raffaele Esposito, a very well-known pizza maker, to create an original pizza specifically for her. Queen Margarita approved the pizza, consisting of three major ingredients – tomato sauce, mozzarella and basilico. Immediately after that, Raffaele Esposito named his pizza after the Queen Margarita and ask the queen for her royal approval. In Italy, pizza is fresh, simple, and of a decent size, making every single ingredient stand out on its own. There are two main types of Italian pizza. Napolitan pizza or pizza napolitana, which is thicker and smaller, also known as Naples style pizza, and Roman pizza or pizza romana, which originates obviously from Rome and much thinner, crispier and larger. And by the way, once again, if you're planning to go to Rome this year, or if it's going to be your first ever time in Rome especially, I finally finished my first travel to Rome guide, especially for you. In this guide, you will find the best hotels to stay and also the best restaurants in Rome to try the best pizza and pasta. But also, I will give you some advice before you're planning your trip to Rome, which places you should absolutely visit there. And also some vital advice for what you need to know before you start planning your first or your next trip to Rome. What to wear, what you should never do in Rome, best places to visit there, and many, many more cool things, all in one place. My best of the best. Travel to Rome guide, especially for you. Number two, and of course, pasta. Best pasta places in Rome are also in my guide. Pasta is a perfect example of beauty and simplicity. A simple combination of eggs, flour, water, olive oil and salt give us more than 400 types of different pasta. Some of the most popular types of pasta are fettuccine, spaghetti and tagliatelle. Each region in Italy has its own signature style of pasta. In Tuscany houses the best are pappardelle and in Rome we have fettuccine. Pasta may be prepared in a variety of ways. Creamy with pasta with fresh tomato sauce or even stuffed. But certainly one of the most popular pasta dishes in Italy, especially in Rome, is spaghetti alla carbonara made with guanciale, egg, pecorino cheese and black pepper. Number three and arancini. Arancini are fried rice balls. And there are two main types, Roman and Sicilian. Roman version called suppli and Sicilian version called arancini. They are also twice bigger than Roman suppli. Both are filled with ragu, tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese and arborio rice, which is usually used to make risotto. The main difference is though that Sicilian arancino recipes typically add beef and peas. Those are common fillings. But you can also find arancini filled with other vegetables. Arancini are coated with breadcrumbs and deep fried, giving them a golden and crispy outside, which is how they got their name, arancini, which means little orange. They are usually served with a side of marinara sauce and are one of the best Italian treats find on all kinds of establishments all around Italy, including market stalls, pubs and bars, and also fine dining restaurants. Definitely a local favorite. Number four and focaccia. Italian dough is so good that it needed a special bread to homage it. Focaccia is an all-baked Italian bread. It's in between flatbread and pizza. And again, depending on the region, it might look different. It also might have different ingredients and toppings and even a different name. In the Toscana area, it's known as Cicciata, in Basilicata, Strazzata and Crescia, in Umbria. It's typically a bread with herbs toppings and olive oil. Absolutely 
perfect for a starter or as an afternoon snack. Number five, and one of my absolutely favorite, Italian cheese. There is so much in Italian cheese culture that it actually needs its own video. Cheese has been in Italian peninsula for centuries. Ancient Roman created a vast variety of cheeses and experimented with them by smoking, melting, and aging them, giving us the basis for many cheeses we know today. Soft, strong, creamy, grain, sweet or salty. Can anyone say no to a good piece of Italian cheese? As it's super common with any Italian food, each Italian region has mastered their own unique type of cheese. But all Italian cheeses are equally good and so delicious. Locals say that the best mozzarella is sold in southern Naples. It is a fresh kind of cheese made with buffalo milk. Parmigiano Reggiano cheese is found in Parma, the region of Emilia Romagna. Parmigiano cheese is also known as the king of the cheeses. It's absolutely worldwide famous and the magic of it that it goes well with Gorgonzola is an Italian blue cheese from the Gorgonzola region, of course, one of the greatest strong cheeses and one of the most beloved in Italy and one of my favorite ones. Grana Padano, Pecorino and Mascarpone cheeses are totally on the list of the best of Italian cheeses. Number six and lasagna, a meal made up of layers of pasta, meat, cheese and tomato sauce is as close as it can possibly be to gastronomy perfection. There is also a vegetarian option where the meat is substituted with vegetables. That way everyone has a choice to enjoy this delicious traditional Italian dish. Lasagna is coming from Naples region and originally it was cooked with bechamel sauce, ragu, cheese, but over the years with more international ingredients available, lasagna was transformed into what we know today. Number seven and ossobuco. Ossobuco is a dish from Milan and it's the best example of elaborate Italian cuisine. It is slowly cooked and might take up to three hours to be ready with the results in a meat so delicious. And so so tender, so it's going to be absolutely worth a wait. Osobuco is a veal chunks with a red or white wine sauce, vegetables, garlic, lemon zest, lemon juice and other spices. The best part of this dish is when it's all finished and you get to taste the delicious bone marrow. And that's where its name comes from. Osobuco means hollow bone. The name itself invites people to try the entire thing, making it one of the most traditional foods. In it. Number eight and risotto. Because rice on itself it's kind of boring, Italians found a way to make it extra interesting and so delicious. This rice dish comes from Lombardia and uses arborio or carnaroli. Its most popular preparation is risotto alle milanese and sometimes fish stock, cheese and lard where everything is held together with a creamy sauce made with butter and other spices. In other regions it's served with different types of proteins and also sauces to give that risotto different colors but the same deliciousness number nine and truffles Tartuffo, one of the best gifts Italy gave to the world. Even though it is possible to find truffles in some other places, no other country produces them in such quality and volume. Truffles are highly aromatic fungus that are found near the roots of the trees in the forests near Piemonte, Umbria, between the months of November and March. They are usually found by trained dogs and can be white truffles, which are much stronger, or black truffles with a lighter taste and smell. And still, both of them are among the most expensive foods in the world. With a pasta dish, your salad or even with your breakfast eggs, truffles will add a strong but delicious, very special Italian fragrance to your food. Number 10 and my absolutely totally favorite, gelato. Can you imagine Italy without gelato? I can't. Non è possibile. No, gelato is not just an ice cream. Only might look similar. It is really different from what's commonly known as an ice cream. Gelato has way less fat than ice cream and a stronger taste. Since it's not mixed with water and air, gelato is made with fresh ingredients only, making it absolutely not possible to store it for a long period of time. Also, it's stored and served less cold than usual ice cream, giving the gelato a smooth texture and making it more refreshing while walking through the streets of Rome. One of the best desserts to enjoy during the summer and even during the winter. Best gelato place in Rome are also in my guide. Grazie mille ragazze, oh thank you so much for watching this video too. By the way, what would be your most favorite Italian food? Please let me know in the comments down below. By the way, are you planning to go to Italy this year? If yes, where about you're going? You know what to do, yeah? Drop me a comment down below. I will be happy to see that you're going to explore Italy, hopefully together with me. And for now, stay safe. 
be happy. And as our tradition goes, I will see you next week. Love you so much, guys. Love you. Ci vediamo, ragazzi. A presto. Bye for now. Bye.